It is a beautiful day in Margaritaville. Oh, I thought she was doing something else. Something that would be obscene on camera. Happy Jimmy Buffett Day, everybody. Just waking up, my hair is a mess. Bringing a dog out to go bathroom. Getting ready to go on an adventure. <sighs> I mean, watching the squirrels in the trees. That's an adventure, but that's that's not the type of adventure I'm looking forward to today. To. Today. Here's a hint of where we're going today. Being Jimmy Buffett's. It's the first holiday of Jimmy Buffett Day here in the state of Florida. But the, here's my hint. Okay, this is not a steel drum, obviously. It's a cowbell. And I can't think of any Caribbean music that uses a cowbell, but they do use steel drums. Oh, okay, hold on. What can we play here? The sound is amazing. Okay. It, it doesn't sound like a steel drum. We are in a much different place than the motorhome and the campground at the moment. We are at Margaritaville, Orlando on one, on 192, not Universal Studios, the actual resort for a specific event that uh, this is the first year, the inaugural, inaugural, inaug the very first year of a new holiday here in the state of Florida, a legal holiday. The preparation is getting all set for the festivities tonight of the very first Jimmy Buffett Day. I mean, look at the chandeliers there. They're margarita glasses. Yes, Jimmy Buffett died, I think, on September 1st of last year. And the state of Florida decided, you know what? We should uh, have a holiday after the man, the myth, the legend. And uh, they did it. They did it. Forever let it be known that today is Jimmy Buffett Day. Look at that. 500 free, mar free margaritas. I don't think... Me and Steph could, between the two of us, can have that. that that's a lot of margaritas. If I We are done eating and we're supposed to be checking in here very, very soon. But it looks like they're gonna have some activities for us. Sand up. Uh, oh, they charge though. They charge. Looks fun though. Lots of fun stuff. I think what's going to happen is they're going to have some sort of little event and then an announcements and then uh, you come around and you purchase things and the money goes to charity in the name of Jimmy. So it, I, I'm not exactly sure what's going to be going on. It looks like they got some free food over here even though we just paid to eat at a, not a very good restaurant. The resort doesn't have a really great restaurant thought it did but the food was mediocre at best and took about an hour and 45 minutes to arrive just for the salad but things are starting to get set up around here I still like those margarita a margarita cup chandelier the only thing we're going to donate is, I think we're probably going to get that t-shirt. We're going to get that t-shirt and the proceeds will go to charity to kids, give kids the world village. So I think that's what we're going to donate to today.
But we still have 30 minutes to check in, so we're gonna run back to the car because Steph needs to go ahead and change her clothing. She is not happy with the clothing style at the moment because we were actually gonna go to the water park and kill a little bit of time. But the weather didn't hold up, so we came inside to eat first. This is kind of a nice little seating area. Decided we don't need to walk to the car to change because everyone is just pretty much casually dressed anyway. So we're going to stand in line to check in. They're letting us check in early. And the line is already stretching pretty far. So we stand here and we get tickets and wristbands. Boy, must be a raffle. To get in is stretching out pretty long. To get in here to paradise. Paradise, Steph's stuck. You're not Steph stuck in a truck anymore. You are Steph loves animals. Steph loves animals. Now we're returning back in. All right, now, now the video can get started. We're still there. Ooh, sit, get, a, get a passport required picture over there. I'll, I'll stand, I'll, I'll, let me get your photo. Or video. You, I'll, I'll shoot. There you go. It, well, they can't hear you talk because the microphone is on right here. That is a hippie named Jimmy Buffett right there. <laughs> okay. Do you know how to do a selfie? Oh, here, you're going to have to do the selfie with my... Okay, this is going to be the... I need my margarita. Selfie time. Okay, that's enough. That was long enough. I don't like being on camera. Stop. Stop with the photo button and I don't know what happened. That takes a picture. Well, that's what I thought was happening, but I don't know. That takes happened. a picture. <laughs> Your hair is the color of the ocean of the seven seas. It's not really extreme. Far. The, the event hasn't even started yet. It, well, it just now started seven minutes ago. T-shirts out of sale. They don't have, they didn't really think, I don't know what the excuse is. There's supposed to be like 500 people here tonight and here for this special day event thing to raise money for charity. They were sold out of T-shirts before the event even started. We just went over to get our T-shirts and they had one small lift. They said, yeah, the only place you're gonna be able to get them now is probably if you drive over to Daytona Beach. We're not driving to Daytona Beach tonight to get a, a Jimmy Buffett Day t-shirt. So they didn't print enough or so I don't know what's going on, but that's a big fail right there because all week long I was excited about getting the t-shirt. So so far, restaurant awful. Can't even get a t-shirt. Sold out before the event even started. And uh, outside, they're just now starting to set up all the outside activities. And the event is just starting and they're not even prepared. So, I mean, got it granted, this is the very first Jimmy Buffett Day holiday in the state of Florida. So maybe next year or the year, maybe 20 years down the road, they'll know what they're doing. I mean, you don't have to come to an event like this anyway. You can just celebrate at home. Celebrate at the beach. Celebrate anywhere. Celebrate the bathroom. Let's see the parrot beak. Okay, oh, there it is. It's making then fins up right there. Look at that. that. That came out pretty good. You guys are talented. <laughs> Brought something to my attention. This is not really a celebration. This is more of a vendor show. It's not, not really what we were all thinking about. So, uh, you know, I think it's us, up to us Floridians to really do the celebrating because this is like a, if you wanted a timeshare. I'm getting that timeshare feel like you want to be, like they're trying to sell you into a timeshare. And it's not really, a, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Now, I don't know if it's like this at other Margaritavilles across the United States or the globally around the world, but it's not really what we all expected. We, we were expecting a big party fiesta, which might be happening later tonight, but right now it's kind of a sales thing. Like you buy this, you buy that. 
and supposedly a lot of the stuff goes to charity, I get that, but it's not, it's not how I want to remember the man that I've seen numerous times in concert and helped save the Florida manatees and sea life and creatures and the, the person that changed my life growing up. This is just a, this is like Christmas, you know, like, what's that word that Christmas, Christmas and like the, back in the day, the San Francisco 49ers and Dallas Cowboys, they were a, and Christmas is over. What's that word I'm looking for? Oh, uh. What, what's the word? Like when something's overplayed. Yeah, when it's, when something's overplayed, whatever that word is. Over, like the same thing In and Out is. Yeah, kind of like In and Out Burger and so, and it's just like, uh, yeah, th it's this isn't, isn't what Facebook and what the state of, I, I, you know, when they made it, a, uh, when they created a holiday, you think it's going to be more than a holiday just to market and sell stuff. I mean, that's how Christmas is. They market it, sell it. Halloween's turning into the same thing with the haunted houses everywhere. Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Farm. Overrated. Overrated, not overrated. That's not the word. Over. It is over something, though. But they, they always take something. I think they're just... Normally, it takes years to get to a point where it... it Christmas, you know, starts three months early and blah, blah, blah. And Halloween starts three months early. But it's like... They're taking everything they learned from those holidays and starting off really, really bad with this one. Because they're taking all that stuff and just making it now instead let it grow into an overrated thing or a sales opportunity. What we're deciding to do, we're gonna do one quick walk around of the festivities of the sales that are going on. Kind of give you guys one quick walk through and then I think we are gonna go down to Margaritaville down to Sunset and uh, have a beer and I think we're going to head home and I think this event made us actually decide next year on this holiday I think we're going to book a room in Key West Florida because I think that's probably where the real party is going to be and where the real excitement it's not all marketing and sales or we just might just go do our own little beach day and celebrate on our own at a tiki bar over in Tampa or something. Anyway, for the moment, let's let's go say goodbye to this place and uh, do a quick walk around. Now, this resort isn't all bad. Just across over there, what we were going to do before we came here to the uh, festivities here is Island Island H Two O, the water park, and that place is definitely amazing, especially for the cost. I mean, I paid twenty nine dollars for an annual pass. It doesn't get much better than that. Year's Eve out on the promenade. We do that every year. It's great. It's just, though, you know, New Year's Eve is a holiday, but it's a, it's, it's a worldwide holiday. This here holiday, the Jimmy Buffett holiday, is specific to the state of Florida. You would think that it would be more for the inaugural holiday. It would be more than this. It is starting to fill up. We do have a balloon, a balloon, a really tall dude making balloons. Island H2O, which is, that's great, but it's like they're trying to sell annual passes. See what I mean? People are waiting to spin that wheel. And you got the spa that's right over by the movie theater and also on their cruise lines. What is going on here? Wanna give it a shot? What is it? It's a photo booth. Oh, this is a photo booth? Yeah, we can take a few photos if you want. Nah, that's okay. I appreciate it though. Okay. But that's kind of neat. I'll, I'll, I'll get her doing it. What, they just, they sent to you your phone or something? Yeah, we can text to your phone number. 
$2 to have a photo taken with basically a cell phone and sent to your cell phone when you get to stand there before that guy was there. We actually did a photo there with our cell phones already. Crazy. It's like just having someone take your picture for you. I, I don't get it. Not for $2. Now so far, the best thing that we've had, and I didn't show it on camera, was the margaritas. They, the free margaritas were really good. I get a free cheeseburger, but I'm not gonna get it. But the margaritas were actually really good. And it's not really, you, you, it looks like a party atmosphere, but basically it's just people sitting relaxing, not knowing what to do. It's uh, disappointing. I mean, I've been to the parking lots at Jimmy Buffett concerts and uh, enjoyed it much, sometimes more than going to the show itself. The parking lot was a blast. That's, that's exciting. This is uh, just like people waiting to check into a hotel. They do have timeshare here because they just tried to get her into a timeshare. So that this is just a big market. This isn't really a holiday. It's more, it's a timeshare, it's a, it's a sales. It's all, the whole thing is just a sales. It's kind of, Margaritaville should be ashamed of themselves, in my opinion. No, go ahead. You think I'm just a negative person? No, but I, but I agree with you. But here's the thing about my personality is I scrutinize everything all the time so I can predict what's going to happen and I'm right and the world disappoints me because I'm right and it's disappointing in the way that I'm right because I always shoot low and the world always meets me there well in this <laughs> in this in this the world shot low but the world shot lower than your expectations you're, it I lower than your lowest expectation. Think this is going to be a good time. Yeah, the, yeah. It's well, you know what? You want to walk. You want to walk around the back and look at the pool and stuff and see what the property's like. Yeah. This is a pool is closed due to weather. It is sprinkling a little. I think it's due to the event. Maybe. Oh. Maybe. Could be. Looks like a sand bottom pool. It's just a big sales event, not really a holiday thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna head out to the car. You guys see pretty much all there is to see here. But if any of you guys wanna buy into Margaritaville, I mean, I would, I would, I love this place, but they don't need to market it to me. Because uh, Margaritaville was a bust, it doesn't mean that you cannot still celebrate because it is a holiday. It's a holiday. You don't have to do it at Margaritaville. You can come here to Ford's Garage and get some tasty brew. So, so far, that margarita that we had was the best part of the day. No, the lime. That the, was lime in the, the lime was. The best part. But this here could end up being the second best part of the day. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Happy Jimmy Buffett Day, everybody. What, what is this called? Hold on. First, let me show them the beer. Okay. This is uh, Samuel Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout. Chocolate Stout. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, so ready to cheers to a Jimmy Buffett Day? Cheers. The first annual. Cheers to the first annual Jimmy Buffett Day. Holiday. Jimmy Buffett Holiday. Recognized holiday. Cheers. Finally, you guys can see me in this beer. It's not in my face. Oh my God, that's Isn't good. That nice? Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice beer. Juicy Haze. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So we got, they got, a, if you want beer, man, this place has you covered. I mean, we go to a lot of restaurants and a lot of places that have beer. But uh, the fueling station here at Ford's Garage does a pretty good job of keeping you hydrated. All right. So this day is not a total failure. That is so much better. Uh-oh, I was gonna go out this door, but it says an alarm will go. Can't go out that door. 
but this was so much better than what was going on at Margaritaville Resort. Even though this restaurant is part of Margaritaville, this whole resort is part of Margaritaville. It's just... The vibe we were getting for the holiday over at the official Margaritaville Hotel just wasn't the vibe that, uh, that I was expecting. And this here might be the very first train that stops at a stop sign. Oh, it did. You didn't stop. There's a stop sign. Where did Steph go? She's staying back there. Let me walk up here to finish my video. So I am going to end the video at Sirius XM Radio's studio here at Margaritaville. You can hear the music blasting, but uh, the party is not here in the streets. It's actually back there at the hotel. And uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a very good day. I thought it was gonna be. I, want, I really wanted that Buffett-style holiday to be the very first Jimmy Buffett day in the state of Florida. And it, I didn't feel that until we hit Ford's Garage. I feel it now after four beers, but it took four beers to feel it. I almost got ran over by a train. You guys just flipped around really fast. I'm walking as fast as a train. All right, we're coming up here on the Sirius, Sirius XM radio booth of Radio Margaritaville. Figure this is the perfect place to end today's video. The fact that um, it's Jimmy Buffett's radio station on XM Sirius. And there is a live band down there at the end of the street. That's not coming to speakers, that's a live band down there. It's just like, um, I don't know what to think about it as a holiday. I mean, I like the idea of having a Jimmy Buffett Day celebration of all the stuff that he did for the good of, of the state of Florida, the country, and the entire world. I mean, it wasn't just Florida and the United States that Jimmy helped at. He helped everywhere. The Philippines, Thailand, Cambodia, France, Paris. So many places. And uh, he had such an influence everywhere that uh, it's great to have an official holiday that I know today all around the world is being celebrated. But here in actual Margaritaville, it's uh, it's not happening. I think it's happening in the coastal towns like Daytona, Key West. Just here, it's a marketing gimmick, and it, I'm not happy. I'm not. I'm not happy. Four beers or not, I'm not happy. But because this is the first year, it's understandable. It's a grown. There's going to be a whole growing. This is, I mean, it's the first first year of the holiday. We'll just have to see what happens next year. And I'll be there to record it. From here, probably, because I'm not moving to the Philippines until the year after. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I got to go charge my car, and I'll see you from down the road. Happy Jimmy Buffett Day. I, tell me how you celebrated, or if you even did celebrate. If you don't live in Florida, you probably did. It, it's a big Florida holiday, obviously. Uh, obviously, look at the crowd in the street. Peace out, everybody.